Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw uh, the graph, how to sketch the graph for y equals to sine 2x. Okay, so this one actually is quite simple. This is uh, mx under trigonometric function. I think it's from 5 chapter. Alright, so let me start to draw about this one. Okay, first, before I start to draw, okay, first you must understand 2x means what? 2x means you will have one period is in 180 degrees so normally what i do is i will i will always write 2x is always equals to 2 pi okay if this is x then x equal to 2 pi if this if this one is 3x then 3x equal to 2 pi the 2 pi is fixed already right? because for sines the original x one period is from zeros to 360 so 2 pi is fixed already and then the 2x over here is depend what the graph you he asks you to draw he can ask, even ask you to draw y equal to sine 3 over 2x then you just write 3, 3 over 2 x equal to 2 pi because you want to find out what is x because x stand for because x over here means uh, your one period will at how many degree okay will from why is the pe period? Uh, why is the period of your graph? All right. So from here, I know x actually equals to pi. So here, I know, I know the period of my graph is from zero to pi. Okay. So I roughly sketch. It, it will got something like this. So you, I will got from zero to pi. Okay. So. Basically, what I do is I will divide this one into the four different part, which is I call this one is ninety degree, which is pi over two, and then this one will be ninety degree divide again, divide two, so it pi over four. So here will be uh, between pi over two and pi over four will be three pi over four. Okay, this is mean. Uh, from 0 to pi. This is when my x is happened from 0 to pi. However, in this question, he actually asked me to draw y, uh, y equal to sine x from 0 to 2 pi. So I know 2 pi means I have to continue this one uh, to 2 pi. Means I need to continue this one into 2 pi. This is the meaning when I got uh, 2 x. Okay, so you can see actually my graph actually I will have two cycle. This one I uh, like this I call one cycle or some book they say one period. Okay, so you got another period. Alright, so this is the meaning for you got two x mean you will have two period in two pi. Okay, if you got three x mean actually you have three periods in two pi. So. So, okay, so if you still cannot understand, maybe you can go and find out my videos to explain about the sine graph one. Okay, I, I have the video, I think it's under trigonometry function also. Yeah, you can go and search. Okay, so yeah, do not waste your time. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to finish this one. Okay, so we know about this one already. So, okay, let's start to draw. Normally how I draw is, okay, I will draw the x acid. And then of course you draw the y as it. Alright. Because now I need to start to sketch. So what is the proper way is actually like this. Okay. This is okay. I divide my graph into the I'm, I divide my x as it into the eight different part. So eight different part means I will start okay. The first one is I will call it pi over four and then two pi over 4 and then 3 pi over 4 and then 4 pi over 4 and then 5 pi over 4 and then you've got 6 pi over 4 7 pi over 4 and 8 pi over 4 so actually you know 8 pi over 4 equal to 2 pi isn't it this one is equal, equal to 2 pi this one is equal to pi this one actually is 90 degree pi over 2 so this one actually is like 3 over 2 pi. So this one actually is like 270. Alright. So if you basically see the idea already. And then because my amplitude over here is 1. So I know my maximum and minimum point over here should be 1. 
and negative 1. Alright, so I draw a dashed line for maximum and minimum. Yeah, because later I'm going to touch the point. Okay. Then, after I finish this one, so I'm going to start to plot my coordinate. So you just put the value into the x. Okay, like pi over 4 is 45, right? So you put the 45, okay, first 0. And then you put the 45 into the x over here, you will got 1. And then you put 90 into the x, you will got 0 for y. Okay, so you just substitute all this value into the y equal to sine 2x. Just substitute all this angle into x. Then you can get the coordinate I get over here. So this one over here is from over here. And then start here. And then we will got this side, this side, this side, and this one. So what I do is I just connect them. Just connect all the coordinate over here. Then I can get the graph for. After you're done, this graph will call it y equals to sine two x. All right. So basically, what I suggest is student to write the unit expression in radian because a lot of students have the difficulties to like convert degree to radian. If this one asks you to write forty five degree, very easy for you. You can write forty five ninety one three five one eight zero. Oh, and then 2, 2, 5 continue. But then if right in the pi, some student is like 5 is very difficult to convert it to the pi. So what I suggest, suggested here is you start from the pi over 4. And then you can see actually this is 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So actually here I increase from 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So bottom is just over 4. Uh, you write like this, it will be easy for you to... To sketch the graph, actually in MX, actually he, most of the time he will ask you to sketch the graph in radian. So yeah, you have to practice how to write in the pi. Alright, so at the same time you must understand sine two x means the amplitude here is one. So here is the number you will be one and negative one. Is the amplitude here away? Uh, is the amplitude for this one is three? So this one maximum point will be three, minimum point will be negative three. Right. I hope this video can help you understand more about the sine two x, and also will help you to refresh about how to sketch the graph in the trigonometry function. Anyways, thanks for watching.